Good evening, and to start part four, we're still in Hilltop Zone, Act Two. So here we go, and I was actually being a fool right here. I was trying to get these rings for long enough. You know, I kept jumping over them. I kept spin dashing too hard. And then I finally grabbed one right there, but that was all pointless because it turns out there's a couple of rings hidden for me right up here. Yeah, whatever. It's always it's always good to be safe. You don't want to start trotting through a Sonic level without any rings because everything's one hit kill at that point. You know, that's no good. All right. Yeah, I actually came up with a really cool idea after I was talking about in the last part how this is probably just the top of Emerald Hill Zone. You know, Hilltop, you know, Emerald Hill, Hilltop, whatever. Um, if they were to ever make another Sonic Mania game and reuse Emerald Hill, they should use, like, Hilltop vibes for Act 2, you know? Because the acts differ from each other in that game. So, you know, I don't know. Just a cool idea. Alright, so right over here, we have a part that is kind of like the one in the last part, but I skipped it because I had invincibility. But, um, in this one, you're not waiting for the lava to lower back down. You're trying to escape before it raises too high. And I made really easy work of it because all you really have to do is just hop to the higher platforms. You know, easy part. It's too bad we don't have any past or future signs, otherwise we'd be able to time travel right here. Yeah, that's a Sonic CD reference in case you haven't seen that playthrough. Alright, Tails, you go ahead and have fun with that. I'm going to move on through the level. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the boss is coming up. Oh yeah, we got more crates to carry us across these lava ravines here. You know, is this a volcano? Because it's saying hilltop, but first of all, I don't know what hill is tall enough to go to the clouds, which, you know, the scenery on the outdoor parts of this level are in the clouds. So, that's a pretty tall hill, first of all. And second, what kind of hill has lava in it? Like, I don't... I don't think this is a hill. I think, I think they tricked us. Like, this is literally secretly a volcano. But whatever, it's not a big deal. Chaos Emerald? Wait until next game. Yeah, Sonic 3 is where I'll show you all the cool next level shit. Don't you worry. I'll include everything in that playthrough. Everything there is to show. And also, this boss is really easy because the second he comes out of the lava, you can just keep bouncing off of him. Like, you can get all eight of your hits on the very first time he comes out of the lava. The only reason I didn't is because I was playing it safe because Tails is with me. And, you know, I already explained in this playthrough, Tails can mess you up on bosses if he hits them while you're trying to hit them. So... Whatever. I still beat him, like, in five seconds. So, Hilltop Zone is cleared. We passed it. And we move on further into the game. Yeah, look at that spin dash. Sonic's ready. Mystic Cave Zone. And I actually have a song on my music project called Summer Skies. It's actually named after this level. It's called Mystic Caves, that song is. It's a pretty chill track. You should check it out. It should be posted by now. So, yeah, this level we got here. Um, they give you this checkpoint up here, which is in a really safe spot. That was nice of them. But yeah, I always felt like this is the level in the game where the game kind of starts to nip at you a little bit. Like these blue guys here just come out of nowhere on you. And I don't at all trust the way these blocks are spinning around each other. It looks like they're ready to crush you. And what kind of firefly hurts you? Like, that, okay, so that's the kind of level we're in where you can't even trust the fireflies. You know, you think a level called Mystic Caves would, you know, I, I don't know. Just don't trust this level. That's all I'm saying because this level really does pull some shit on you, especially in Act 2. I mean, it even gets me right here, I think. Yeah, this is the part. I'm, think I'm thinking I'm progressing, right? No. I was going completely backwards for that whole thing. So, moving on further into the level. And I almost got hit with those spikes. Tails took that fall for me. Thank you, Tails. Just a quick fact about Tails. He's actually completely invincible. Nothing will ever be able to kill Tails. You'll notice throughout the playthrough of these classic Sonic games, he'll consistently get hit with zero rings and still live... He can get crushed, he can fall into bottomless pits, he can drown to death, and he will literally just fly back in from the sky. Like, hey Sonic, sorry about that. So, you know, Sonic's kind of like that when he has this invincibility here, but he can't survive drowning still. Or getting crushed, or bottomless pits, you know. <laughs> Tails, man. And also, I'm just kidding, I know he's not actually supposed to be invincible, they just didn't want to get rid of Sonic's partner for the game. And that platform that I just broke away, if you fall back down after that platform breaks, you just have to walk backwards, and so it respawns. Otherwise, you probably won't be able to get up here. Okay, I should have been killed right there. I honestly don't know why I didn't die right there, but I'm not questioning it, you know, whatever. Best gameplay for the playthrough. And that is how we complete Act 1 of Mystic Cave. Now let's take a look at this cave for a second though. Let's look at the scenery. Like, this really would be a cool cave to be in in real life. Okay, so Mystic Cave Act 2. One thing I want to mention here 
If you remember earlier in the playthrough, I said Casino Night has different music for the multiplayer of this game. This level is also in the multiplayer, and it does have different music, and I do like that one actually better than this one too. Yeah, I, for some reason, they saved all the good music, all the unused music, for the, you know, the multiplayer levels, or the multiplayer versions of the levels. Which also, in the multiplayer of this game, all you really do is, the, it's a split screen, it's two player, and you just race through the levels, and there's four zones included. Emerald Hill, Casino Night, Mystic Cave, and the Special Stage. And yeah, they use different music for that, and it's it's just unused music from levels that were in this game, but were taken out. For some reason, because they're pretty cool levels, I don't know why they did that. There's plenty of ROM hacks that fix that, though, definitely. So there's a part coming up where the level really just screws you over completely. Um, there's a hole that you can fall down, and you have to make this jump right here to lower that bridge. There's literally spikes at the bottom of there that make you keep losing your rings until you can't collect them anymore. So they didn't even put a bottomless pit there. They literally wanted to kill you with spikes instead. And then the next one over, you saw there was a bottom, there was an extra life at the bottom, and then a red spring to send you back up. So this level just likes to play with your head. That's why I don't trust this level. Actually, maybe that's why they use this music instead of the multiplayer track for this level, because... First of all, this music actually was made for this level, where the multiplayer one wasn't. It was for a different level originally. But second, this level definitely is more menacing and, you know, creepy sounding than that one. That one's more cool. That one really is more of a mystic cave sound, but this level doesn't really treat you like a mystic cave would, because there's fireflies that hurt you here. You know? Like, I, my song, called Mystic Caves, it's not anything like this. Like, it's, it's a really peaceful song, and I highly recommend checking it out, but it's not posted yet, but by the time... Most people that watch this playthrough will see it. The song definitely should be out by then. And if it's not, I'm going to be pissed. Here's the boss. So, this is definitely one of Eggman's better attempts to kill Sonic in this game. I mean, he's taking a drill and screwing into the ceiling and making stuff fall down on Sonic, like spikes and everything. Thank you, Tails, for that hit. But yeah, I would say the flaw in Eggman's strategy this time around is that his shit moves slow as ass. Like, Sonic is literally known for his speed. So, why is Eggman using a ship that moves like one mile per hour to attack him? You know, it's just... That's just why he lost. And you can see Tails got the final hit there. Thank you, Tails. Alright, so we go over here and... Yeah, come on, you press the button, Tails. You finish the boss, you get to press the button. Come on. I know you want to. I know you want to hit that button. There you go. You got it. Okay, Mystic Cave is in the clear, and that should conclude part four of Sonic 2. So we're going to move on to the next zone in the next part, and I hope to see you then.